Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Blair, and this is Momentum. Today, I want to talk about price sheets. All right? Stay tuned. All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. What's up? All right, now, I want to get straight into it. You know, price sheets tell you the prices of products all right and they list all of the products and also if you go across this way horizontally the prices go down probably every two to three months you know and they can go down from they typically start at what 10 months and they stop it like one month. And then they explain, sometimes they explain, you know, dings and what's damaged and how much they pay for them, you know, what they take off and everything. And it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You know, um, I want to talk about some stuff though. You cannot look at one price sheet and tell what the barometer you know you cannot use one price sheet as a barometer of what the prices are throughout the whole industry it's impossible to do it it's it's virtually impossible why because there's a thing called spreads you know a spread is basically the range of what a box can be at any given moment. Now, sometimes, you know, in a typical market, you can have uh, boxes that range from anywhere from two to six dollars. But then you can have, especially now, because the market is nuts, you can have, I'll give you an example, you can have a uh, a box on one wholesaler's price sheet at let's say forty dollars, and then on another wholesaler's price sheet could be twenty nine. Now, his being twenty nine doesn't necessarily mean that he's trying to jit people, because understand something. You know, it's about their particular profit margins and where they want to keep them at. Some wholesalers, you know, if it gets down to a certain point, they won't buy. They'll stop buying. You know, and this is the thing. You know, don't let anybody just show you one price sheet and say this is where it should be at. You know, right now, I've seen what? about 15 price sheets you know from 15 different wholesalers and on a typical market the price sheet the spreads are basically a five to six dollar spread but now now that the, the market is nuts I've seen 11 to 12 dollar spreads you know and that's just the way it is you know um, I was just talking to a wholesaler last night after uh, he paid me off of an invoice. And he was telling me that he's never seen it this bad in six to seven years. You know, and I can agree with him. I've only been in this for, what, what two years? But when he told me that, I was like, whoa. And this is coming from a heavyweight. Now, um, it's about averages. And I want to shift gears. You know, you got people out there that are selling courses. And they're also the wholesaler. Now, if you have a person that's your wholesaler that you bought a course from, you know, in all fairness, you know, most wholesalers will say, I don't, I don't buy this or I don't buy this. But 
some wholesalers will just keep you all to themselves. You know, and this is the thing. If you only see one price sheet, you know, you have no way of knowing spreads or trends or averages. You know, you can always sell on eBay. You know, you can always sell on eBay, but it's about knowing the spreads and averages and trends. And you can't do that by one <laughs> price sheet. You know, you, you, you just can't do it. You know, um, and I can say this. Some wholesalers buy more stuff than others. You know, but it's very seldomly or very, very seldom that you're going to find a wholesaler that buys everything. You know, I ran into one. I ran into one. You know, but I think price sheets are there just as a tool to let you know what that wholesaler buys. You know, because see, you have to understand something. It's not what your wholesaler buys from you, but what their wholesalers buy from them. You know, that makes all the difference in the world. You know, and the relationships that they have with their wholesalers. Now, their wholesalers may go by trends and spreads. And again, they're not just going off of one price sheet or two price sheets. You know, they have a, a, a range, a gamut of, uh, of sources that they rely on to where they know where to set their prices at. You know, um, yeah, so typically price sheets are basically there as a tool, you know, to let you know where their prices are. You know, and sometimes, you know, you get updates. Updates can come typically every month. You know, but some wholesalers, their price sheets will be every three months. It just depends. You know, it, it all depends. But just know, just know this. And I've said this before. If you get a price sheet or price sheets, study them. You know, figure out the averages. If you got three, figure out the averages. You know, um, now, do you have price sheets out there that are way below average? Even with crazy spreads now? Of course. Of course. But you can't tell that by just looking at that price sheet or another price sheet. You have to look at four to five of them, you know, to know. You know, and just just know this. Just because, you know, your price sheet that you have may, a box may be the highest on this particular month. Two or three, four months down the line, or six months down the line, it may drop ten or eleven dollars. I know, I know. I've seen this. I'm, I'm seeing it right now. <laughs> I'm talking right now, and it's nuts. It's nuts. Let me roll on this window. Yeah, it's 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 nuts. But oh well, you know. Um, I can tell you a lot more about price sheets, but you know. I'm not going to run this video too long, you know, but this is just the basics, you know, of uh, price sheets. You know, I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is Blair. This is Momentum. And remember, you cannot gain momentum without traction. you got 365 days to get it right, all right? If you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working towards it, all right? With that being said, peace out.